Hi guys! I am like so giddy and excited right now because I am at the doctor's. <laughs> and you're probably like, well, why are you excited about being at the doctor's? Well, I'll tell ya. We are getting ready to do our frozen embryo transfer. Not today. But today I'm going over all the medication that I'm going to need for my frozen embryo transfer. It's been about two years since we did our IVF. Um, process the first time so I wanted to just go over all the medications again just to get like a little refresher um, but I am so so excited I don't know if they'll have me pick up my medications today or not but we are about so we're just kind of like at this point waiting for AF to arrive which it's still probably gonna be about two weeks ish before AF arrives which if you've gone through the IVF process, it is like every month you're trying to conceive, you like don't want AF to come, but if you go through IVF, you're like, please come, please come. Like you just can't wait for it to come. So that is currently where we are. So I am at the doctor's just waiting to go in. I'm a little early. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I just got done working out. So that's why my hair is like a hot mess. And what on earth is that in my hair? Okay. Um, and for breakfast, I had made a smoothie. So, yeah, I'm kind of switching over my diet at this point to more of an IVF-friendly diet, I guess, being a lot more strict than I was previously being. So if you watched my IVF diet video, I am going to make a more current one now of kind of what I've switched to to be a little more strict on the IVF diet so for breakfast I always have like a fertility friendly smoothie that I make um, so yeah I'm so excited <laughs> to go over my IVF protocol this round it is so different than like the fresh full cycle of IVF so basically um, our for our frozen embryo transfer I should get my period in about two weeks so that's really what we're waiting on here once that happens I will call the clinic and let them know that AF has arrived and I will start my estrace pills so I will be taking three of those by mouth daily until I'm 10 weeks pregnant. Um, so two weeks, exactly two weeks after my period starts, I go in to have my lining checked. Um, so once I have my lining checked, I believe that's all I'm taking, the S trace. Yes. So then at my lining check, if my lining looks good to go, then I will start my progesterone and oil, which last time I did the suppositories and this time I have to do the shots, which are the like intramuscular shots. So, and they have to go in my butt. Um, and I have to do that until I'm 10 weeks pregnant. So, and this needle is not a small needle. So I will start that. I have to do six days of the progesterone and oil shots before we do the transfer. 
we're going to be transferring just one embryo. And I also get put on doxycycline and Medrol too, I believe four days before the transfer. So, but that's basically it. And I don't know if I said either, the S trace that I'm gonna be taking is a tablet. I did say that, but the last time it was a patch. So that's a little different as well. Everything is just different. I don't have to go on birth control. I mean, it's just a whole new world. What I will say though, is I'm not at all excited about the progesterone and oil shots. Uh, my husband does not do good with needles, so I will be doing them myself, which I think is going to be fine, but that's just a lot of shots. 10 weeks worth of, sh well, I guess 11 by the time I'm 10 weeks pregnant of progesterone and oil shots, which I'm going to be nice and bruised up, let me tell ya. But yeah, that's basically our protocol. We, I did have to make sure I have an up-to-date pap as well as a hysteroscopy which I did both of that if you want to check out my hysteroscopy I had to have a polyp removed so I will link that video below if you want to see it but yeah that is our frozen embryo transfer protocol and we are gonna start in just like two weeks I'm so excited all right so, now I gotta go pick up baby bear What are you doing? Papa. Are you supposed to be napping? Are you supposed to be napping? <coughs> You're not the best napper, are you? <coughs> You're not napping. How come? Okay, let's try this again. Is there something on your foot? Oh, did you get it off? It's gone. There's nothing on your foot anymore. Does it stink? No. Did you smell it? P.U. P.U. Is that the bottom of your foot? Feel uh, your toes. So we had a little mishap with the wall. Hi. 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 Show them your boo boo. Boo boo. Look at that. Not on your head, girl. Boo boo. Where's your ice? Can ice. you can you put your ice on there? What'd you do with it? Here it is. Can you put your ice on your boo-boo? Where's your boo-boo? Put your ice on your boo-boo. On your forehead. Right here. I know. I mean, seriously. So she's 16. Hi. She seems to be okay. It's just really kind of scary looking to see that big goose egg on your head. Yeah, you got a boo-boo on your head. Can mommy kiss it? Make it better? No. No, I can't? No. It's really sad to see that big boo-boo on your head. Here, put your ice on. So we do have this little thing. It's like a little tiny ice pack, but it really only lasts for like three minutes and it's like pretty much warm already. But she was holding this to her head. You want him to kiss you again? He wants to kiss your boo-boo. Put him on your forehead. That's your cheek. No. We gotta try to get the ice on your head so your boo-boo goes away. 
faster. It's really swollen. I guess it's inevitable with a toddler for at some point hi, them to hi, run into a wall hi, hi, or something. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. You seem to be your happy little self. Are you a cheese ball? Show me your cheese ball face. Oh, that was your cheese ball face? Let me see your smile. Wow, that's a very pretty smile, honey. Uh, yeah, right back to normal. So that's how that wall affected her. It affected her head, but that was about all. Hi. 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 Can I have a kiss? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Mwah. Thank you. Oh, you want to give her a kiss? Mwah. She's pretty, isn't she? Even with a goose egg. Oh. <laughs> Let's not fall again, please. Are you supposed to jump on the couch? And now we see why she bumped her head on the wall. That actually wasn't how she bumped her head on the wall. She just ran right into the wall. There was no stopping that. Are you supposed to jump on the couch? No, I don't think we're supposed to jump on the couch. We sit on the couch, right? Where's Spot? Hi. Hi. So today was basically just telling you my IVF protocol. You're trying to kiss her again? And yeah, that was about that. I think I'm going to try to maybe hold her down and get a nice pack on her head. Because that's the only way that's going to happen. I feel like I need to. It looks so bad. It looks even worse in person. I mean, it looks pretty bad on the camera. But it looks even worse in person, if you believe that or not. Um, so yeah, that's been fun. Look at that little head noggin. You got a big boo-boo. No. Okay, we're going to say bye. Say bye. Thank you for watching. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Rosie, can you do thumbs up? Look at Mama. Thumbs up. Bye. We would love if you guys could hit that red subscribe button below and join us on this journey to conceiving baby number two. We will see you on our next video. Bye.